Is social media manager actually a good career? That's what I'm gonna be talking about in today's video. And if you appreciate me doing this topic, go ahead and gently tap that like button and let's jump into it right now. So this video is gonna be an overview of what you'd actually be doing as a social media manager, how much money you'd make, the job description, the job satisfaction, the demand, and other X factors that you probably wanna know if you're considering going into this career. And then at the very end, I'm gonna give it an overall score from one to 10 based on those criteria. So what exactly is a social media manager? Well, according to Google, they're responsible for overseeing a company's interactions with the public by implementing social media platforms, content strategies. And basically what they do in layman's terms is they post content on social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok, et cetera. And this content is designed to build the brand and connect with followers. And from there, of course, you can sell things to them. So you end up making the business a lot more money. And according to statistics across the internet, as well as my opinion, content marketing is currently the highest ROI type of marketing. That means for every $1 you put into content marketing, you're getting much, much more in return. And it's estimated to have something like 30 times higher ROI than paid ads. So there's a reason why companies are investing more and more money into their content marketing strategies. And that's why more and more companies need social media managers. So let's talk about the earning potential for social media managers. They make about $57,000 a year, according to last door. But you can make much more than this depending on what you specialize in. And there's also a lot of opportunities for advancement. For instance, senior social media managers make around 91,000. And besides planning and posting the content itself, you can also work on skills such as influencer marketing management, community management, content writing, design, and data analysis. And of course, I'm biased, but one of my favorite types of social media managers, of course, is going to be a YouTube manager. I know that most people don't think of YouTube as a business, but there are many YouTube channels out there that are making tens of millions of dollars a month. And guess what? They probably need someone to manage the channel. And so you can do the math there. If you can take a bunch of time off of the YouTube channel owners back, you can end up making a ton of money because they will be glad to pay you a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars a year if you do a great job. And I'm actually going to be doing a one day workshop where I basically go over everything I know about becoming a social media manager. And I'm going to specialize specifically in becoming a YouTube manager because that's what I know the most about. And this is going to be exactly three days after after this video post. So 72 hours after this video post, information is gonna be down in the description as well as the pinned comment below on the exact date and time. And this is gonna be a live Zoom session with me where I present all of the best information, share all of my secrets on it, and then I'll also answer any questions that you have. And I wanted to make this affordable to basically anyone out there. So it's at a ridiculously low price. Again, check the link in the description down below. But yeah, I thought it would be awesome to do a live Zoom session and get to meet a bunch of people who are interested in becoming social media managers and I'll tell you how to get into social media management, but I'm also going to specialize even further on how to become a YouTube manager. So like I said, definitely check that out. I'll put it in the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below, and I'll be excited to meet you if you decide to do it. And by the way, if you have to miss it for whatever reason, like you're working during that time or anything like that, or if you view this video past the time that I actually recorded it, that same link will take you to the recordings. So overall, when it comes to earning potential, this is an amazing skill to learn in general. There's also tons of other careers that you can pivot into that are also really high paying. So when it comes to how much money you make, I give this one a huge thumbs up. It's very good. Next, let's talk about the satisfaction. So according to Career Explorer, this one scores in the bottom 42% of careers. So it's basically in the middle and it scores about 3.1 out of five stars. And according to Payscale, this one has a 36% meaning score and a 63% high satisfaction score. You can compare that to a really bad one as well as a really good one. And you'll see that it kind of scores in the middle as well. It scores lower on meaning, but a little bit higher when it comes to job satisfaction. But with that being said, what's hidden in the job satisfaction scores is the fact that you're learning in demand valuable skills, and it's very easy to switch into a different job, whether that means progressing up into higher levels that are related to social media management, specializing in different types of social media management, like becoming a YouTube manager, or completely switching careers and going into something that is not necessarily related. The skills you learn here are going to be very valuable. So that's going to give you a ton of freedom to pivot to other types of careers, which in the modern economy, let's be honest, most people are not going to be working in the same career for 40 years. So having that freedom to be able to pivot to other careers is incredibly important. And that's something that's hidden in these stats. So overall, I'm going to give this one a relatively good satisfaction score. Um, definitely not as good as some of the careers that I talk about, but still it's not bad either. Next, let's talk about demand. So social media managers are projected to grow at about 8% over the next 10 years. The average for this is usually around four to 5%. So 8% 
100% is excellent. And according to Glassdoor, there's about 15,000 positions open right now for social media management. And according to BLS, marketing related careers are growing at about 10% over the next 10 years. So there's a ton of demand specifically for this job, but there's also a lot of demand for the skills you learn by doing this job. Like I said before, content is probably the highest ROI investment that a company can make when it comes to marketing. So obviously companies are smart if they know they're getting a lot of money back for this investment, they're going to hire more people to do it for them. So yeah, when it comes to demand, I'll give this one an excellent rating. And now let's go ahead and talk about X factors. And this is basically anything that I didn't cover in the previous three that I talked about. So for instance, how easy is it going to be to have AI automate this? Or how easy is it going to be to outsource this? Well, when it comes to AI automation, because of the fact that it does take a lot of creativity and you have to kind of analyze things and see what's doing the best, this is not one of those tasks that you can easily automate. And when it comes to outsourcing, the great thing about marketing related jobs is typically you're going to have a huge advantage if you hire people who are in the market that you're selling to. So obviously the biggest cash cow market in the world is the United States market because we have so much money here. And so companies are always going to prefer to hire people from the United States. Another thing to mention here is if you get skills working with a brand, working on their social media, it's going to be a lot easier for you to start your own social media at some point as well. So if you're the type of person who wants to start a business in the future, my number one recommendation is to start making content. Making content makes every other aspect of your business so much easier. This is something that Gary V has been saying for like 10 years and he was 100% correct. This is why you have guys like Alex Hermosi who was making like $50 million a year and he was a kind of a paid ads expert completely shift his business model to spending almost all of his time and effort making content. This is why you have podcasts like the All In Podcast, which is four different billionaires. I think one of them is like only a hundred millionaire, but you get what I'm saying. Four different billionaires spending their time and effort making a podcast. There is a reason for that. These people are super selective with what they spend their time doing and they are choosing to make content. So if you're the type of person who wants to learn in-demand skills and then switch into something else in the future that's either maybe like in a higher level position or start your own business, this is gonna be great for you. So you have to add that into the X Factor score as well. And overall, this one has a great X Factor score. Um, this is one of the most valuable skills that you can learn. And then the overall score is going to be 8.5 out of 10. This one used to be better about five years ago, but I think what's happening is people are wanting the social media managers to kind of specialize in particular platforms. So if you specialize in a particular platform, I think you're gonna be even more valuable. And that's why I'm doing this one day workshop where I teach people how to get into social media management, but I specialize in teaching people how to get into YouTube social media management, because that is what I am an expert in. And like I said, it's gonna be a live Zoom class with me. I'm going to present you all of the good stuff, all the secret sauce, and then I'm gonna answer any questions that you have as well. So I'll put a link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below, and I hope to see you there. By the way, if you haven't checked it already, I did make a remote job tier list, and you can check that out by clicking right here.